five hours for twenty dollars or eight hours for twenty five yes yeah. we can text to pay there there's apparently parking over there too there are Houston Bonham third not sure how much that costs the almonds right there Welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. POA. Today we are at the Alamo. Woohoo! So right behind us, right there, is where you can get your tickets if you want to do some tours, guided tours, or not. If you do it for if you do a tour on your own, it is free. And you just walk around. There's no photography allowed in the Alamo. The Alamo was originally built in 1718 and used as a Spanish mission and fortress compound for the Roman Catholics. And as time changes, so does the Alamo and its purpose. This is when it becomes a military fortress and becomes known as the Alamo. After the battle at the Alamo, there wasn't much left. Texas joins the United States and the U.S. Army moves in and makes it a supply depot during this time. This is around the time Texas removes himself from the Union and becomes part of the Confederate Army. The Alamo is almost sold to become a hotel. Eventually, the Daughters of the Republic of Texas got involved. And here is a footprint of what it now looks like and what it's been restored to. Fun fact, remember the Alamo? Well. That battle cry was not used during the battle at the Alamo. It was actually used at the Battle of San Juancito. It was a reminder to the forces of the 200 Texans that had stood here to fight against the Mexican forces. This is the arcade. It was built in the 1930s. When you walk around outside the Alamo, you do get to see live reenactments from that time. If you choose to do an audio tour, it is $7 per person, the military is $6, and if you choose to do the one hour tour with a guide, it can range between $15 to $20 for an adult, $18 for military, ages 5 to 12 is $10, and 5 and under are free. The tour guides must be booked 24 hours prior and all tour prices are subject to change depending on the season. Do you know David Bowie? No. Okay, so David Bowie was in a movie. He was a wizard. Get the name of the movie right now. And in the movie, had a lot of gnarly trees like this. And if you come over here, as I was walking by, Bowie. <laughs> We are now inside the Special Exhibit Hall, which is the Alamo Research Center. This is an exhibit gallery with all the artifacts from that time frame.
After you are finished visiting the Alamo and going through their gift shop, you get to enter through the long barrack exhibit. It is built in 1724 and it is held as the oldest building in San Antonio. It has been used as a Spanish army barrack, a hospital, a fortress held for the U.S. Army Depot, and much more. It now serves as a museum with 300 plus years worth of history and probably a lot of money too. New Orleans Grays 23 Fought and died in the Battle of Elmo. They're known for their distinctive gray uniforms. It makes you wonder if this tree was around during February 23rd through March 6th of 1836 during the Battle of the Alamo. Remember the Alamo! We just came inside and we just finished. We hope you enjoyed the views. There was a lot of places we couldn't record. Inside the church and the museum. And the museum is good. Just no flash photography. But everything seems to be great. It was a great history lesson. It was amazing inside. Got to learn a little bit about the Alamo War, which I never knew before. And I learned that the Alamo was in a church, not a board. So, let's head over to the river wall. Hope you enjoyed the views. Yay, Jaggy's at the Alamo. Jaggy Pie, good boy.